mortar malfunction, um, and that's what um, that's what caused the issues. And we're learning more tonight about what caused that dangerous situation at the fireworks display. We know it forced about 25,000 people to leave the show early. KCRA 3's Mike Lurie is live at Cal Expo with what went wrong, Mike. Kelly, we have tonight five deputy fire marshals who are here investigating exactly what happened since a little before 10 last night. Today they have some answers and they also took some significant safety precautions. A mortar round explodes over Cal Expo at 1:35, followed by a second round, also detonated per order of the state fire marshal. Investigators said the explosives were too dangerous to be shipped back to the manufacturer after last night's incident. So far, the the evidence um, indicates that that an accident occurred. Um, it's no more or less than that. The accident, captured on the KCRA3 sky camera, shows a mortar round exploding into the ground just 10 minutes into the 23 minute fireworks celebration. We showed that video to State Fire Marshal Chief Steve Garino. That's the mishap right there. The incident sparked a small grass fire that was quickly extinguished, but the fire marshal's office ruled the situation was too dangerous for the show to continue. When she determined that, the, that things were going sideways and it was unsafe to continue, she made the order to cease and desist immediately. Fire investigators say it's unlikely there will be any fines or citations against the fireworks vendor, J&M Displays, based in Yarmouth, Iowa. Our messages to the company today were not returned. Cal Expo officials today said they were sorry that the show, which for most spectators involved free admission, did not go off as planned. You know, we were expecting it to be the largest fireworks show in the Sacramento region and in the Central Valley. Um, so we do apologize um, and, you know, we were disappointed. But again, public safety is our utmost concern. Now, some people did pay to get in, $4 for VIPs and $10 for everyone for parking. And we know from some viewer comments or emails to the KCRA app that uh, some people were asking about refunds. Could they get them? Well, they've been encouraged to write an email to Cal Expo at customer service at calexpo.com. We also have that address on our KCRA 3 mobile app. Reporting live from Cal Expo, Mike Leary, KCRA 3 News. So, Mike, a couple of the mortars detonated today. What about the remaining fireworks? What happens to them? Well, Brian, the remaining fireworks consisting of about two-thirds of all the loan will actually be shipped back to the manufacturer. They're going to trim the electrical wires, make sure they're not dangerous, put them in uh, safety-laden uh, containers, and then ship them back to the manufacturer for further inspection. All right, one of those better-than-safe-than-sorry situations, right? Thanks, Mike.